Okay, so we are now at the quarter two, week three of our lesson. And the lesson is zero and negative exponent. So before we proceed with zero and negative exponent, let's have a review. Okay, so before we proceed with zero and negative exponent, let's have a review regarding loss of exponent. Okay, so let a and b and a real number and m and n be n positive integer. So unang unang rule natin or law na pag-uusapan is yung product rule. Ano yung product rule? It says here that a raised to m multiplied by a raised to n. Okay? So, ibig sabihin lang po, ang kalalabasan or ang magiging sagot natin dito ay a raised to m plus n. Okay? So, mumultiply natin yung mga bases nila and then, yung exponent natin, ang gagawin natin is ia add natin sila. So, m plus n. So, for example, we have a raised to 3 multiplied by a raised to 5. For example, is a raised to 3 times a raised to 5. So, yung base nila is ipagmumultiply lang natin, which is a, 1 times 1. So, the value is 1 and 1. Okay? So, a times a is a. Anong gagawin natin sa exponent nila? Ia-add po natin. So, 3 plus 5 is 8. Kaya ang answer, a raised to 8. That is the product rule. Another rule is quotient rule. Okay? Pag sinabi naman natin quotient rule, it is a answer in division. Okay? So, a raised to m, over a raised to n. Kaya siya naging quotient rule kasi division siya. Naka-fraction form. Okay? So, a raised to m divided by a raised to n. So, paano natin sa solve yan? Again, i-divide natin yung mga bases nila. So, since 1 ang value ng bases nila, 1 divided by 1 is 1 pa rin naman. So, ang matitira na lang is yung variable. So, anong gagawin natin ngayon sa exponent? Sa exponent nila. Ang gagawin natin isa-subtract natin yung exponent nila. Sa-subtract natin yung exponent ng numerator sa denominator. So, that would be a raised to m minus n. Okay po? So, example tayo. Give an example. a raised to 5 over a raised to 3. O. Oh. Ano ang magiging sagot natin? So, since parehas naman silang value ay 1, 1 divided by 1 is 1 pa rin naman. So, therefore, copy lang natin yung variable which is a. Now, the answer for the exponent is 5 minus 3. O, di ko na yung susulat. 5 minus 3 will be 2. Kaya, ang sagot natin, a raised to 2. Another rule is power to power rule. Power to power rule naman, ibig sabihin po, another term for power is exponent. Okay? So, exponent to exponent rule. Okay? Pag sinabing power, exponent. So, exponent to exponent rule. So, what you're going to do is to multiply the exponent of the given inside the parenthesis to the given exponent outside. So, ang magiging sagot ay a raised to m times n. I-multiply po natin yung exponent ng m sa exponent na n. Okay? For example, we have m raised to 2 raised to 3. Okay? So, what we are going to do is to multiply the exponents. So, 2 times 3 is 6. And that is the answer. So, another rule is product to power rule. Ibig sabihin po, yung product, mumultiply natin sa exponent. So, for example, we have AB, quantity of AB raised to M. Okay? So, anong gagawin natin? Imumultiply natin yung exponent sa bawat exponent. Since dalawa ang given natin na variable, i-distribute natin yung value ng exponent dito sa mga exponent niya sa loob. So, that would be A raised to M, B raised to M. Okay? So, again, you distribute po ang given na exponent sa labas na nasa loob. 
for example, we have 4a raised to the power of 2. So, ang gagawin mo, i-raise mo yan, or i-distribute mo yan sa bawat given. So, that would be 4 squared a squared. Okay? And yung 4 squared a squared, pwede pa natin siyang i-simplify. We simplify 4 squared as 16. And a squared, still a squared. Okay? Okay. For the last example, we have rule pala, is the quotient to power rule. Okay? So, what you are going to do, the given inside the parenthesis is a fractional form. So, that would be a quotient or division. Okay? So, that would be a over b raised to the power of m. Ang gagawin po natin, i-distribute natin yung exponent na nasa labas sa exponent na nasa loob. And that would be a raised to m over b raised to m. Okay? So, i-distribute mo lang po yung exponent na nasa labas. Next, for example, we have a squared over 2 raised to b raised to 4. For example, we have here, hmm, example, a raised to 2 over 2 raised to b raised to the power of 4. So, i-distribute natin yung exponent na 4 sa bawat exponent. So, ang kalalabasan niya will be a, 4 times 2 is 8, over 2, 4 times b, 2 raised to 4 times b is 4b. And that is the final answer. Again, minultiply po natin yung exponent na nasa labas sa loob. 2 times 4, 8. Since letter B yung ano natin, exponent natin, multiply natin siya sa 4. And that would be 4B. And that is for the quotient to power rule.